Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison. If you're new here, I am a first year, second grade teacher, and today is classroom setup day seven. <music> So welcome back to my channel guys. Um, I ended up uploading day six yesterday just because I actually had more footage than I thought. I'm sorry the video was a little choppy since my camera died. I was filming on my phone and I ended up losing some clips for some reason. So sorry about that, but I hope today will go a lot smoother. I brought backup batteries, so <laughs> I learned my lesson. Um, but basically right now I'm just in my classroom and I am tuning in to another professional development session. Like I said, this week I have PD every day from eight to four. Um, so I will be tuning into that for a little bit and then I'll catch up with you guys when I go on break. Okay, so we just got done with our PD. We got out a little early, which is really nice. So right now I'm actually in our like workroom in my school because I'm going to use their paper cutter to cut out a bunch of task cards. If you guys just saw, I just laminated a bunch of task cards because during the 4th of July TPT sale, I bought a ton for like a dollar and um i'm planning on having it be kind of like an early finisher activity that i'm going to keep in that little um photo storage thing that i got from michael's which i will show you guys in a little bit but yeah so i'm going to cut out all of these so I'm all done cutting these out so basically I just put them into piles this little pile here is from teaching the tinies um, she has like a get moving little task card it's just like addition and subtraction problems and I just really love this one so I'm going to have like a get moving section um, this one these are all time word problems these are all money word problems these are all place value, and then these two are both addition and subtraction word problems. So I am probably going to find more, but for now these will all go in my photo storage keeper from Michaels, which I will show you in a second. This is the photo storage keeper I was talking about that I got from Michaels. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. Um, but yeah, so this, basically each one of these boxes come out, I'll show you. 
make sure you set it down before opening it because I made that mistake once <laughs> and they all came flying out. So yeah, these little things just come out. So I will just put the task cards in here and then I will eventually make labels for these. I filled up all of the little bins. As you guys saw, I actually had to cut some of the ends off of the task cards um, just because there is like half an inch too much to fit in these little photo cases. So basically my plan is I'm just going to have these as early finisher activities. So the kids, I will eventually have these labeled. So like this one will be labeled like time. This will be like get up and move. This one will be addition word problems and subtraction word problems. And then it goes all the way down to um, place value. And the last four are money. So I actually ended up filling up all these boxes. There's still room for more in each of these, but I mean, they're filled up like about halfway. Um, so yeah, I really like this idea. These will all be labeled and then the kids can just come and grab one and either take it to their seat or work with a friend, socially <laughs> distancing. Um, and then these will obviously get sanitized as well. But yeah, so I am really excited that I got that done. I had this task card idea for a long time. So I will just get these labeled and then I'll probably just keep this in the front of the room so the kids can access it. All right, I just spent the last 10 minutes or so just on PowerPoint creating some labels for this box just because I knew I'd forget to do it tonight and I have time. So I just made some time, addition, subtraction, some get moving cards, um, money, and the place value. So yeah, I'm just going to print these out, laminate them, and then put them right on top of the box. The next thing I want to do is start organizing my milk crates. I have two of these and I definitely know for one of them I want to use it for student data. So I ordered these file folders. I got blue and gray off of um, Amazon and so I'm just going to label these um, probably just like student 1 through student 20 so I can reuse them. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to put these in here and I have some materials that I brought with me that I will show you that I'm planning on including in here.
so I finished up this first crate so as you see it just has like all my student numbers and this will just be data or just really like any information I have about them I will keep it in here so that I can easily access it and the papers I was telling you about um, that I was going to put in here I'm actually going to put in a student data like binder um, just because I'm going to have like sections in the binder so I'll kind of show you what I mean um, this was a template off of TPT. I can't remember who I got this from. Um, I think it was letters in fourth grade and it's just like a student data binder template. You can just search it on TPT. So there's like a personal section where it has like attendance and behavior and stuff like that. I have a math section with math test scores. And then I will also have I will also have a reading section with um, just some data tracking how much they're reading um, and also any test scores. Probably go in a binder though. This stuff will be more like student information, I guess. Maybe not as much like data because I plan to have a binder where I can keep track of like test scores. This one will be more just like like I said, information, any paperwork that I get on each of them or anything that I want to keep on file for them. So yeah. So I decided to come on here and um, make some binder labels because I, if you guys remember like way back, I'm pretty sure classroom setup one, I told you guys I had a bunch of binders. Well, I ended up giving each student one binder and then I kept these five for myself. So I'm planning on using one for a sub binder, student data binder, a parent communication binder, and then just a binder for important forms. So whatever that may be, usually it'd be like field trips or like forms to take home, but who knows what this year will look like. Um, but I think it's always good to have a binder where you can put important information, maybe parent communication, stuff like that. So yeah, these are super simple. I just wanted a simple cover that I could slip inside of the, or in front of the binder. Um, let me know if you guys want me to upload these to my TPT. I can definitely do that. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to get these. So I will print these out and then be able to put these in my binders. Okay, so I saw Lena Loves Teaching do a similar idea to this. Um, she basically inspired me <laughs> to create a anchor chart by tracing it from the smart board projector. So I am not very artsy and I don't have like great handwriting or anything like that. So we will see how this works out. <laughs> waiting for my school's laminator to turn on it takes like 15 minutes to even turn on and then I think I'm going to laminate the anchor chart that I just made and for the first day of school I'll obviously just like leave it on the board and then after that I'll probably just like hang it somewhere in the class with like fish wire um just like at least for the first month or so so yeah other than that I really don't have much else to do I pretty much only have just like maintenance things left to do just like 
organizing and stuff like that. Um, I know when I go home tonight, I want to plan out what is going to be in my sub binder. I want to plan out what is going to be in my kids' writing portfolio binders, just like what sections am I going to have in it. Um, I just ordered like a ton of binder like dividers and yeah those are just like the little like tedious tasks that i have left to do i don't have like a ton of fun decor stuff left um so the biggest decor thing that i've left to do is my hallway bulletin board which is really big i'll show you guys so this is the hallway bulletin board and it's really big like i said so I already know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about doing the world is in great hands and then on the first day of school I'm going to have them write on a little piece of paper what they want to be when they're older and they will hold it up for a picture and so I'll have pictures of all my students and it will say future above it so it'll just say like future firefighter or future doctor or whatever and I think that will be so cute I already mapped out <laughs> what it's gonna look like and I have the template on my PowerPoint I will upload the template on my TPT once I am like sure that I like it and once I have it up and have pictures of it but yeah, so that's pretty much the last like decor. And other than that, I'm pretty much done with decor. So I think today will be my last classroom setup video, which is really sad because I feel like I just got in here. But don't worry, there will still be lots of vlogs coming your way. I plan on vlogging obviously the first week and first day of school. I plan on vlogging leading up to that day, just like professional development events. And then I plan on vlogging my first week um, my first week being on contract hours and what I am up to that week um, But if you guys have any video requests, please leave them down below so that I can come up with more ideas on what to film I have a few sit down videos that I am planning on filming, but I know you guys really like vlogs So please leave down below what you would want to see would you guys just like to see day in my life? Do you only want to see teacher content or do you want to see what I'm up to outside of just teaching? Because um, I would love to share more with you guys, but just let me know down below um, So yeah, I think this is going to be my last day. Let me go check on the laminator It's laminated. It doesn't look super professional. It got like a little, okay, I got a lot wrinkled in the laminator, but from far away, it looks pretty good. And now it'll be a lot more durable. And so I'll keep it up here the first day. And then after that, I'll probably just hang it from like fish wires right here, just so they can see it for like the rest of the month. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cute. So anyway, that's pretty much the last thing I had to do today. But now I'm just going to go on over to Kathy's room and check on her, see how her room's doing. By the way, Kathy has been filming some classroom setup vlogs. So search her on YouTube. She is Mrs. Kellogg's Bunch and she has like four days of classroom setup already on YouTube. So definitely check it out. Um, her room is turning out so cute. It's just like so her vibe, like super warm and homey. Um, but yeah, so... I'm really sad to say it, but I think this is going to be my last official day of classroom setup. Thank you so much for coming along with me as I set up my classroom and as I transformed it from a blank canvas to what it is now. I will give you guys one last tour of it um, and I will be filming a second grade classroom tour eventually after school starts and I figure out how exactly I want my room to be. But for now, I will give you a little quick tour. Walking in, we have the welcome sign. We have this little bulletin board with our morning greetings on it and our little sanitation box for when they come in, they can get some hand sanitizer. My door decor, which I love. This turned out to be like my favorite part of the whole room. <laughs> then you walk in, have my little welcome mat. 
I'm not sure this is going to stay there, but for now I just have this there holding their reading mats and their Friday folders and I'll find something else to put in that bottom drawer. Up here we have our mask do's and don'ts, which don't forget this is on my TPT so you can download it for yourself. My TPT is always linked in the description. So I love how that turned out. The future of the world is in this classroom. I love that sign. We have our how to be a hallway ninja right here by the front door. Our affirmation station. We have our classroom jobs, which I have gotten some questions about what all these jobs entail. So I am going to make an Instagram post more about these jobs. And I have my Instagram linked in the description. So go follow me over there if you want to hear more about it. And I have just my teacher desk area. You guys have all seen this a lot. This just has my name on it, which by the way, I get questions about this as well. I did not create this name template. That's why it's not on my TPT. Taught by Tatum actually has this template on hers. I'm pretty sure it's a freebie. So um, definitely check her out. And I just have pictures, like personal pictures, just a few posters, this drawing that Kathy actually made for me for my birthday. My dog Nala, which you all have already met. <laughs> Then we come over here. I'm not sure this stuff will stay down there. This is just like my student data binder, or sorry, student data crate that you guys saw that I made today. This um, crate doesn't have anything in it yet. Then I just have my toolbox, my photo box, which you guys saw. This is holding a bunch of like yearly lesson plans that I had from last year, um, just kind of sorted. Like this drawer, I guess I can just show you guys. This drawer has like first week activities. This drawer has um, like homework or morning work activities, like worksheets. Um, this is all like math. Um, this is <laughs> this is Martin Luther King Day, and this um, this is St. Patrick's Day, and I think there was a Valentine's Day one in here with it because I taught <laughs> January through May, so I had some holiday stuff that I just took with me and kept in there. Then we have these signs underneath. We have my attention getter callback signs up there. Those are also on my TPT. I love how my whiteboard is. I will eventually have our class or like school schedule right here, but obviously I don't know what that is right now. So I'm just keeping that blank until then. I love the voice level sign. My classroom management sign, which I will be talking about in another video. I actually really like how that looks right there. We have our you belong here. I love how that turned out. Got the word wall, our objectives board. And like I said before, I will be changing these boxes out because I think that's what's been throwing me off. So I ordered like nine just gray um, storage boxes to put in here. And then I also ordered like three baskets to put down here and I will keep like classroom supplies. They won't necessarily be like community supplies, but um, if I need to get something, then I'll have them down there. These are just holding extra books that didn't fit in the library, but I think it's a good area because the kids can come over here and read and grab some books. We have my hand washing steps right above the sink. These are all on my TPT as well. And these are free on my TPT if you wanna grab them for yourself. We have our little sanitation station over here. So this is just where they can grab hand sanitizer, Kleenex, wet wipes, Clorox wipes, Lysol, anything like that. And this is our mascot, so I just put it here because <laughs> he's cute. Right now I have our mentor techs over here. These are all just books that I didn't want the kiddos getting dirty or messing up over in the classroom library. They're books that I plan on reading the first week or so of school that I just really love. Um, so yeah, I just keep those right here for now. I have my turn in trays and these cute banners from the Target Dollar Spot. Backing up, I have my um, class birthdays. I'm still on the hunt for strings, guys, because I think it would look cute to have little strings hanging from the balloons, um, but I just don't have any string on me, so I need to find some first. But I think these will be really cute once I have the kiddos' names written on them. Coming over here to the library, we have this big tapestry. Again, this tapestry is from Redbubble. Um, literally, I just searched on Redbubble reading tapestry and there's a few of them and this is one of them. I really love it. 
These signs are all from the Target dollar spot. Then we have our chapter books and our picture books, as well as over here. This cart over here is for our book return and book bath. This cart is from Amazon. These little bins are from Walmart. I have my curtain that I just hung yesterday. I love how that turned out. We have our colors, our flexible seating, our little lap desks. I'm just keeping my small group cart here for now. Who knows if I will keep it. This cart is from Michaels. We have our information center board over here with our um, attendance, days of the week, weather, and our calendar. I love this board so much. I've always envisioned having a board just like this, and I just think it turned out so cute. This middle board is our work wall, so I will be posting all of our students' work over here. I get questions about these googly eyes too. Um, they're from Amazon. I just searched like giant or jumbo googly eyes, and I think you can find them there. I have my little makeshift bulletin board that says do the right thing, and it just has a, all of our Bitmoji class rules. And I think this wall is just really cute. It adds a nice pop of color over here. Then we have our headphone storage right here where the kiddos will keep their headphones. I will eventually number these pockets as well with their class numbers. And then coming over here, we have the student center. So this will be where the kids keep their backpacks, their lunches. They have their book bins here, which will hold all their books of the week that they're reading, as well as these binders. They will keep their writing in. This will be their writing portfolio. So once we start our writing unit, this will be really nice to have for them to just grab every day. And yeah, that is pretty much what I have gotten done the past couple weeks. Don't mind this mess. This is just stuff that I brought in today. But yeah, um, the tables um, are temporarily here because if we have the hybrid model, I might only have like 10 kids in the class. So we'll see how I set up the class then. Obviously those chairs will not be there. They're just there for now. I will have a teacher desk coming that I'm going to put right here. Those stools will not be there. So just imagine like a teacher desk right here where I'll be sitting. And yeah, that is how the room's looking. I had so much fun setting up my room the past couple weeks and I appreciate you guys so much. I have been so overwhelmed with like love and um, all the comments and messages I've been getting from you guys over these videos and over on my Instagram. I just really appreciate it and it's just really encouraging and it just motivates me to keep going and keep decorating my class and keep making it the best class that I can for my second graders. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. I just really appreciate you guys and all the support that I have gotten on this channel. So yeah. All right guys, so that is going to end off today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching Classroom Setup Day 7. I can't believe I've been filming seven whole classroom setup days. Um, and you know, the room is pretty much done. I really just have a few more organizational things to do but I love how it turned out. I'm so happy with it. It's a total step up from last year and I it's just my favorite classroom yet. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. Don't forget to subscribe. I know a lot of you guys watch my videos and you're not subscribed, but please subscribe. It really helps me out. It helps out my channel and lets me know that you guys are enjoying my videos. Also give this video a thumbs up so that I know you liked these videos and want more like it. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.